this is a loading screen and this is the actual game. Hey guys, Nitsa Gamer here, back for another session of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, um, previously, um, actually, before I go into that, um, I don't really think I need to recap whatever I've done. Now, it's been uh, like a week since I've uploaded uh, the last uh, part, and the reason why for the delay is because um, I was originally going to get a co-commentator for this session, and due to scheduling issues and such, it was really hard to actually get them and such to actually co-commentate. I won't say who it is right, right at the moment because, well, I don't want him targeted for any reason for any hate because I don't hate him or anything for not being able to do it. I mean, it's understandable like why he wasn't able to do it so yeah this will be another session with just me alone hopefully in the next session i might be able to get him but um if i'm gonna do that i think i might actually make this a much more shorter session yeah so um oh, god damn it how did i get in this view do i just rotate the control stick around in order to do that i never knew that so yeah, right now we are on the second floor where um, we're going to be going to the Charms Classroom to learn the Carpet Retractum spell, and we got the Potions Vile Kit, which is the Lost and Found item. Alright, now I could have swore that there was like maybe one of those stink pellet things that we need to flip over somewhere around here. Okay, I could have swore there was maybe like one around here somewhere. Uh, Harry, get over here. Uh, move, Ron. What is this for? This must be one of the common now. rooms for either Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. Anyway, I'm wasting time. Let's get to class. Okay, so um, as I said before, I was going to get a co-commentator for this session, but due to scheduling issues, I wasn't able to get them. So this will be another session with just me. The Carpe Retractum spell is useful. Why is it, it useful? It you to seize and pull objects within your direct line of sight towards you. Shouldn't you say that beforehand? Miss Granger, would you be so kind as to bring Harry and Ron to the front with you? Oh, great, Hermione, it's you got us all in trouble. To retrieve the Carpe Retractum spellbook. Why don't you just make Draco and Crab and Goral do it? I mean, seriously, it's us all the freaking time. And you're putting us through another one of these dangerous challenges, just like Lupin did, or just like... Um, all the other teachers did with Harry in the last two games. I mean, seriously, what the hell? I mean, I know this is the video game medium, but why the hell are you putting us through all these challenges? Well, maybe after looking at Lupin's challenge, maybe they might have actually considered to actually lower down the possibilities of, well, the students getting killed and... Huh, not so bad. See, we get to see Torchy again. Hey, Torchy and Torchies. Target your opponent, then cast your spell. Well, why would I do that? Hey, Torchy, you want to feel what it's like uh, being cold again? Harry. Whoa, guys, don't hurt Torchy. What did he do to you? Harry. Harry. Be right with you. Harry. Oh my god, do I have to shoot it down myself? Okay, that was accidental. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately we got to hurt poor little Torchy when he Ron, come over when here. come on. Oh, Torchy is mad. Torchy's mad. Okay. Fine Torchy, if you want to be like that, then how about I just freeze you? Well, this was definitely not a good class because clearly we broke friendships with Torchy. Is that all the torches? Nope, there's one more. Oh, come on. Seriously, these torches are pretty tough. Oh, there's another one? What the hell? How many torches are there? Okay, one more left. Sorry I had to do this, Torchy, but since you had to witness me actually killing all your other friends, then I might as well finish you off as well. We're such terrible friends, guys. I can't believe we just killed off Torchy and his friends. Well, even though, uh, what's his name? Uh, Flitwick actually put us through um, all this and such. Harry, move out of the way. 
even though Flitwick has put us through like this whole challenge and such, maybe they've actually considered, you know, maybe the challenges from before are much too dangerous. So maybe um, we can actually give the kids, you know, much more of a simple task rather than... Seriously, what if they don't have the Glacius spell? Have you ever considered that? Yeah, so we gotta use Glacius on all this, so... Pretty simple. Okay, now we get to uh, this one. Oh, come on. There we go. And then one more left. Ready? One, two. So, knowing that the last challenges were too dangerous. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? No, no, come on. Red caps? Don't you know what red caps actually do? I mean, yeah, in the actual mythology, they're much more dangerous than the ones that we that are in here. I mean, in here, they're just disgusting. In fact, here, have a stink pellet. Hey, stop twerking at me. All right, let's finish these red caps off. I mean, seriously, what the hell are you thinking, Hogwarts? Oh, come on, there's more? More? Are you serious? Okay, guys, for those of you who say Hogwarts is the worst school ever, yeah, Hogwarts is the worst school if you're in the video game medium. Ah, please let there be no more. God freaking damn it! Seriously, is this like how you think uh, the Hogwarts school should be? Put all these kids through all these dangerous challenges and having to do all this? I mean... Come on, this is actually more dangerous than Lupin's challenge. And with at least Lupin, there's more of a conspiracy that he could be evil. I mean, it was even hinted in both the movie and the book because of his connection with Sirius Black and, of course, his werewolf identity. Whew, thank God that's over. And now we teleported down to here, I guess. Uh, can we go to the bird's eye view? How did we go to the bird's eye view from before? You know what? Never mind. Let's just carry on. Uh, Hermione, do you think you can squeeze under there? Oh, yes. I can totally squeeze under there. For some reason, I can't do it right now. What the frick? I couldn't squeeze under there. Ron, get... Oh, okay. Okay. Can you squeeze through there? Okay, now I can get under there. You won't forget about us, will you? So yeah, is this going to be another challenge where most of it is played with Hermione? Well, sort of, actually. I mean, yeah, most of it is actually played with Hermione, but at the same time, um, it's actually going to be uh, a spell that we're going to learn for Harry. I mean, this is the Carpe Retractum uh, spell that we're going to be trying to get and basically this is actually going to be finally the first spell we get to learn with Harry that is if you exclude Expelliarmus you know for the Glacier spell it sure freezes up a lot of the water oh that was a weird glitch yeah so um I'm trying to think of something that I can comment about um I still have yet to actually get South Park as the Stick of Truth, and that's actually one game that I am considering of LPN. And uh, truth be told, I'm not sure if too many people are actually going to be watching it because, um, well, not because they wouldn't be interested, but mostly for the fact that, you know, there's probably not too many of my viewers that would actually watch South Park. I mean, it's a really great show, and. Um, I would definitely recommend watching it. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a game that I will actually eventually get when I have the time. Okay, let's finish off this red cap. Seriously, I mean, don't you know how dangerous red caps are? Oh, now these are enemies that are going to be such a pain in the ass. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, so if you thought pixies were bad, these pretty much um, take the cake. They're pretty much doxies, and what doxies are is that they're exactly like pixies, except they actually poison you. And by poisoning you, your health slowly goes down, and you need to use one of the antidotes in order to heal yourself back up. Wait. Okay, where's the other enemy? Uh... 
Uh, oops. Is the game glitched up? Oh, please tell me the game's not glitched up. No. You're kidding. You are seriously kidding. Is the game seriously glitched? Where is the enemy? Maybe there's supposed to be two doxies, but for some reason we came out with just one. Let's go down here and then come back up here and then go back and see if the enemy responds. Oh my god, no! No! Where the hell's the enemy? You gotta be kidding! No! There's no way I'm starting over again just because the game decided to glitch up on me. I mean, what the hell, man? I don't know, are they able to actually come across this um, ice with me? Let's see. Come on, guys, let's see if you can help me here. Whoa! Oh, that was lucky. Whoa, what the hell? Harry, why are you all blue? Okay, this is odd. I can't even... I can't even turn... What the hell? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, Hermione. Oh, crap. You gotta be kidding me. So, guys, I think I have to start over again. If I if I don't get make any more progress, then I'm gonna have to start over again. Because this is definitely a glitch here. There should be, like, another enemy or something. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but that's got to be the only explanation. There's got to be, like, maybe a second doxy or something that should have appeared, but for some reason just didn't. No enemy is being targeted. Like, maybe it's stuck in the walls or something, but I don't know. Why the frick is this not opening? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Crap. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this out until I actually figure out what's going on. In fact, I'm not even gonna save the game. I'm just gonna actually start all over again, and I'll meet you guys when I actually get back to this point. I mean, crap. And I have to start all the way back here! This is all your fault, Prefect. Wow, thanks game, now you gotta make me relive through another sad moment, killing off Torchy and his friends. What more do you want from me, game? You won't forget about us, will you? Oh yes, I'll totally forget about you. Now, hopefully when I cross the lake, or lake, or pond, or whatever the frick it is this time. You know what? I went on the uh, right side, I climbed up the right side, which means the right side is... Bad luck. So I'll go on the left side. Why? I don't know. I'm trying to find any way to actually avoid this um, glitch happening again. Hopefully I can get through this so that way I can actually beat this game. <laughs> now please, 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 please be two doxies or three red caps or whatever. I'll get the stuff on the outside later until I know for sure that oh, okay there's two doxies this time okay this is good this is good make sure there's still those two doxies I mean I mean as much as I don't like these doxies at least um, at least uh, as long as there's two there's a benefit here okay one down let's kill off the second one and kill off the red cap Hermione, stop doing that. I actually never noticed that before. They actually limp over whenever they actually get poisoned. Wait. Did this just open? I really need some antidote now. Awesome. Okay, so let's heal up Hermione. So yeah, we got bitten by a doxy. So yeah, that was an odd glitch. 
Actually, if I'm not mistaken, when I was watching um, this one person's Let's Play, and it's actually the same person that I was trying to get a co-commentator for, when I was watching his Let's Play, he was mentioning that in the Carpe Retractum spell, there was a certain glitch where you can't proceed forward, and this possibly might be it. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really uh, played enough of this game to actually know. But yeah, that was such an odd glitch for the fact that there was only one doxy and I couldn't proceed forward. So yeah, if, you, if you're if you stuck in this moment and you're wondering why you can't proceed forward, then yeah, it's because there's supposed to be two doxies and two red caps. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen later on in the other rooms if I need to fight off enemies to proceed on. All right. So, nice little challenge for Hermione, I guess. Ah, great. I mean, even though, like, one thing I do notice is that even though Hermione is actually overused and such, there is actually a lot of moments where you do actually just play as Harry and Ron, and usually Hermione is off either, I don't know, studying or doing whatever. I mean, the obvious foreshadowing with her time turner and all that sort of stuff but you know all that but yeah when Hermione does get involved she is used a lot and it's quite ridiculous to be honest okay more antidote So yeah, I'm not sure, I don't remember what the third potion was. I mean, I know the first is Waking Well Potion, which is for health, and the second one, as you know, is for, well, healing yourself from Doxy Bites. No other way. This is really complicated. <laughs> I don't blame you, Hermione. This is quite complicated and quite repetitive. Water! I'll be your candle on the water. I don't know where. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if you don't know where that's from, that actually comes from. Uh, what does it come from? It comes from um, uh, Pete's Dragon, I believe. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't target that. Don't target that. Target the Doxy. Target the Doxy. Hey, Doxy. Eat Flapendo. Oh, crap. Well, I had to destroy that crate anyway. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with this puzzle exactly? Oh, I see, I see. Wait, I gotta go the other way around in order to do this. Yeah, so what I need to do is actually, um... When it shines at this, I have to shine it over to uh, that light bulb over there, which should shine up to, I don't know, I guess another source or something? I don't really know. Um, I guess we'll just continue to follow this way until this follows through. Oh, come on. No, no. Okay, this doesn't work. Um, I'm, I'm just going to cut ahead so that way this doesn't get repetitive. So we push that all the way down there. Crap! Ah, damn it. Yeah, we gotta have this crate here in order to do that. Wow, this is actually a pretty good puzzle. I don't blame Hermione. This is actually quite complicated, and it's well thought out. Okay, why is it that the Raparo has the sound of the Glacier spell? I mean, that makes no sense whatsoever. All right, this time we push that down there. And then fix this one. And then destroy the crate that is down here and push it back. Pretty good puzzle. I mean, it's pretty well thought out for the most part. Oh, okay. Maybe we're not supposed to go up there. Now, I need to help Harry and Ron. Yeah, well, we'll get to that in a moment. It's just, um, get used to the game using a lot of you. Why? Because, uh, you're hot, I guess? 
or no, that's inappropriate for me to say it, at least now, because you're 13. <laughs> yeah, I'm no perv. <laughs> You know, it's pretty nice that he actually gives us house points within a challenge. But seriously, minus the twerking red capsule and all that, if I want someone to actually shake their ass and me, then I'll just have some other person do it. I don't want some red cap to do it. You know, it's kind of funny just how it can actually be used as an insult, but I don't know, when you do get down to it, really, uh, mooning someone is not that much of an insult, to be honest. At least, just not in, in my opinion. It's not really that much of an insult. I mean, I guess it actually is used as a way of, like, smell the stink or something like that, you know. But, I don't know, I never really saw mooning as an insult, but then again, you know... I've seen people do it, um, you know, people do do it, and heck, even I have done it. Well, maybe not directly to a person, but, yeah, I guess it is used as an insult for the most part. Alright, I think that should be it. Okay, so we gotta get those bridges up so that way we can get, um, Harry and Ron up here. So that way we can have Harry climb these ropes and get that switch that is up there. And we can proceed on in there. And which, uh, we have to proceed up there. So, yeah. What the hell is Hogwarts thinking? Putting the students through this challenge. I mean, what the heck? I mean... I, I get that it's a challenge, but if you're gonna apply some sort of danger, maybe at least apply it where a character won't actually get themselves killed. Wow, you seem very excited. All right. Harry, coming. All right, let's get them up here, and then we'll switch to Harry when he's close to the ropes. 